just sat on the train heading towards London at the moment and before you judge me, yes I've got Lego lasses going on right now but if I have an have tie enough mask this is like a pain in my arms honestly so uh, yeah obviously being on the train got to wear a mask uh, I think it's really changed um, it's so quiet on here though So yeah, currently just on my way to London. Uh, I'm just going through back to my hometown for the weekend. Uh, but I thought I'd just get this video in today and just see how it goes. Um, when I get into London, I'll probably do another video there as well, just to show about what it's like. Sorry for bobbing it all around like this. It's just the train. But yeah, um, I just wanted to catch up and see where I'm at. I'm doing a bit of work as well. It's quite nice. I had my vanilla latte. I really can't complain. But yeah, so I've um, just been doing some admin really all morning, getting some videos sorted, and then uh, yeah, just getting my life back in order now. Uh, now I finally sat down. The last three days has been like painting, like solid painting. Honestly, I've been exhausted. I'm really surprised I can get all this work in at the moment. But yeah, I'm just admiring the view as well. Like, my God, like what? I'm going to be doing this run a lot more often. I think it's quite nice. But what is surprising is that it's a Thursday, it's early morning, and the train's like dead quiet, nobody's travelling, which just is a sign of the times, I think. But I think the fact that more people are going to start working from home in the next couple of years, and months even, is going to be a sign of the times, which is really exciting for people my age, I think, because people deserve a good work life balance, in my opinion. I think we're moving into a generation where, and this is why I think people my age can't hold down corporate jobs, it's because they don't like the commute, they don't like being stuck in that kind of lifestyle, they like being able to do things freely, they like having choice. Uh, I am definitely at the age of gratification. I haven't really spoken about this concept before, but in the age of gratification that I believe I'm part of is that we are constantly told we can have what we want, uh, which is so so like important to our generation and I think one thing that I've learned a lot in the last couple of years is that the age of gratification we are we expect stuff like that so like Netflix if I want to watch a Netflix series I can binge watch it and be completely fine with it you know but I don't I don't watch Netflix I never have and never will really you know, maybe if I'm on a date or something like that, I might watch it. But generally, I don't, I don't have time for that kind of thing. And, but we have that opportunity to do that. If we want to sit and play games all day, we can sit and play games all day. And that's kind of just an example that we are part of that generation. And when we're told we can't have something, or we can't have something our way and how we want it, people get really upset. Like, especially, like, I think my generation are very highly sensitive as well. Uh, me included, I'm massively sensitive to people's opinions and I think that being in that position it's kind of like made me realise that you know we are part of a very interesting generation and I think the old say people in their early 40s, late 30s are going to have to really adapt to how they work with my generation of um, people because we have grown up very different time, you know, growing up 20 years ago is very different to growing up today. It's like I was talking to a teacher yesterday and we were saying how but a lot of them have AirPods, a lot of them have their own laptops, a lot of them have their own iPads. So growing up I didn't have any of that. Um, I only got my only got a Nokia 330 um, when I was 10. That's how that I forget that seems like so long ago, but even having a Nokia back then was a massive, massive thing. And I didn't get my first touchscreen phone until I was 15, 16. And then from there, it just, you know, that, that, that was it. But now it's like they have everything. And I think I'm part of the age of gratification. Imagine being the next generation of kids that are coming up through the works at the moment. They're going to be even more like expecting that gratification, more so than I, I my generation. So I think the next generation is going to be even harder to work with than what we have right now. But I think with COVID and the fact we are can work from home more, I think that's going to be a massive impact on the way we work productively. And I think it's going to make life 
life work balance in terms of being able to do what you want and not what you want is going to be so detrimental and so impactful in so many positive ways. But if that said, it's so hard to tell right now, and we're moving into a very challenging period in modern society, I think. And with this moving forward, I think we can really start to change the way we look at this generation, kids, and my generation. Because if we don't, we're going to find ourselves in a very tricky situation in a couple of years to come. And I really don't want us to see us in a very awkward situation. And it's and we have to adapt. We really do. And we'll continue to adapt now every day. But it's just saying that I've, you know what? This is such an important topic to me. It'd be great to get it out. Obviously doing it in a mask as well on the train. But yeah, well, that was pretty much me today. I just wanted to kind of say that's how I felt about this generation of young kids that are coming through, including myself on that massively gratified for what I've had and uh, the opportunities that have come towards me have been incredible. And I'm going to continue to push for those moving forward into the next couple of years and so on and see where it takes me. And uh, I do, uh, again, apologise for being in the mask, but I don't have a choice. One thing that I did notice is that the AC units on the AC unit is renowned for cycling COVID, so I'm like, this is great. Um, but yeah, I've got just chilling out for now, almost into London. Got another like 25 minutes or so before I get there. And then yeah, on towards my hometown, which is not Keynes. So yeah, been looking forward to it. But um, yeah, it's been a crazy couple of days. I will leave today's video here. Um, as always, thank you so much for listening. Um, and I will see you in the next one, I suppose. But uh, if you could like, subscribe, I've noticed a lot of views have been coming to my channel recently. So um, if you could send me some, some love uh, and just some notification. See you in the next one. Good guys, take care for now.